Welcome everybody to Rusty Money Gaming here on YouTube, a place where we gather in the barn house for challenges, live streams, let's plays, and more. So I hope you will sit back, relax, and enjoy this next creation by myself, Rusty Money. Good day, good people. Welcome, everybody. It's Rusty Money here on PlayStation Network and Rusty Money Gaming on YouTube. We are here for kind of my own personal first look here at Hickory Valley for a particular reason, as in, did you know this map had this opportunity for you if you install it? So, I'm going to do a very brief first look of this map. It's going to be very short to highlight one important part, I feel, that I think there's not too many people in the FS community that are aware of the opportunity with installing Hickory Valley by our friend Poor Boy. The size of this install is 301.23 megabytes. It is for all platforms. I am here on PlayStation 5. And the description of Hickory Valley. Try and remember, and better yet, I suggest you read the description of the mod called Hickory Valley, which is a custom built map by our friend poor boy so it says welcome to hickory valley here you will find seven fields fields one and two are 105 plus acres field three through six are 18 plus acres field seven is 14 plus acres the map has eight cell points six production points three lime stations, a BGA, chicken, cow, horse, pig, and sheep pens, large greenhouse, large beehive with pallet spawner, water station, animal dealer, has bale cell point, traffic and parked cars, pedestrians, 19 windmills you own in new farmer mode, AI splines are installed but don't always want to work, they are lazy at times, 100 collectibles, Start from scratch and all placeables are gone. New farmer mode has huge lot of starting equipment. And a special thank you to Hungry Cow Design for the use of John Deere sign. Channel log 2.0.0.0. New save game needed. Welcome to the new Hickory Valley where you'll find a newly redone landscape. Two new crops have been incorporated, alfalfa and black bean. Twelve new fill types. This includes soybean, straw, compost, and ten other materials. New productions include steel, asphalt, stone, crusher, plus as few others. Train runs the outer part of the map. Fully usable. BGA has a loading only trigger for train. Also, train has a sell all point and bale sell at animal dealer field seven removed field one size reduced pig cow sheep pins edited for map and cover a lot of ground and a capacity of 1000 chickens free roam farm area and hold 500 horse pin edited for map and holds 100 Soybean, new texture and grows in rows. Corn, potato, and sugar beets, also new textures from Taylor Farms. New sheds and new bale wrap, also from Taylor Farms. Added ability to make straw from corn, sunflowers, and canola. Pedestrians removed, traffic reworked, placeable sawmill added. Channel log 2.1.0.0, fixed issue with... The DLC Goel pack new bale types not working. And then in the mod description, there is some different uh, 
pictures available of this beautiful map by Poor Boy Modding. So let's just take a quick glance around here. I want to highlight just a few things here in new farmer mode. As you can see, the beautiful outer edge of this map really makes it uh, feel to life. And then um, this map is flat, so you shouldn't have too many issues with laying anything. We have our starting farm area here with our house and a loading ramp behind our house where the train can come. And the train goes around the map on the outer edge. And we got a BGA down there in the distance. You can see that there. But we've got some nice sheds here. We also have a dog house right here. But inside our sheds here, a new farmer mode, we can see our uh, starting equipment. We have a little John Deere uh, side by side and our little pickup. Our shed here has some storage shelves inside this shed. And then if we go over to this big shed, we'll see what other equipment we got here in new farmer mode. We have ourselves a nice John Deere planter. Uh, looks like a cultivator, disc harrow. I'm not sure which one of those it is. But anyway, yeah, we can look at that. We got ourselves a nice John Deere 9620R. Another nice John Deere 8RX. And a nice John Deere X9 harvester with both uh, headers. And then um, we can exit out of the shed here. It's a drive through shed, which is great. And then we have another shed right here. We also have a liquid tank right here available. And then we have a lot more equipment here on new farmer mode. Excuse me, we've got a crop protection sprayer there. Another big uh, John Deere tractor with a loader and a, and a shovel bucket. We got a little uh, uh, fertilizer spreader there, lime spreader. Um, we got ourselves a loading wagon, a baler, another John Deere 8R, another John Deere tractor with the front loader and bale spikes, and a um, windrower, or I mean Teddy, excuse me. I don't know, windrower. Yeah, windrower. And then we got another John Deere 8R with some mowing attachments. And uh, what else we got? This shed is kind of drive-through, too. I kind of like the style of this shed, actually. Because you got the side door plus the big front door and that little door there. And we got a little uh, decorative building over here. Right there. Here is our chicken pasture. That is our decoration for our chicken pasture right here and then um what else can we see right there let's get in the truck here we'll go kind of around the map just a little bit here you can see it's a uh, wide open spaces <laughs> Wide open spaces. We got some greenhouses here in new farmer mode. Looks like we got our other animal pen here. Um, we have uh, ability for 1,000 cows. And then um, if we go on around here. You will see we have uh, some silos with some augers to fill your silos. Let's take a look in this shed, too, that we own. We got all kinds of other equipment here for a truck. 
We got our own little personal trucking business here. We got a flatbed, a livestock hauler, and a, a grain trailer there. Nice drive through sh shed. If we hop back in our truck here, we can go on over here to another shed that we have, which is kind of like an open bale shed in my perspective. So if we go like here, we can see that we have a bale trailer and a manure spreader, I'm going to guess which I don't use those usually. And then we have some more of our animal pins right here. Big, huge animal pasture pins. They actually take up a lot of room. We have a thousand sheep right there and if we just run over here quick there's one of our beehives and you can see the windmills there in the distance we have a thousand pigs and then if we go on back to our truck and hop in it we will go kind of around the map here just a little bit more we have I see some collectibles I don't know if anybody can see those collectibles in the distance there don't want to give away too many of their locations but there's some bright yellow collectibles coming up here that nice little group of them and new farmer mode right there we got 16 horses in that pin and then you can just see that here we got the really large fields um, just down the road from the farm look at this huge field right there <laughs> huge field and then you go across the road there you got the other big field on the map and then you got your cell points down the road some of your cell points here and production points down the road here but that's just a quick little view I don't want to show it all because there's something that I really want to highlight about this uh particular um map uh created by poor boy modding and uh it's in the mod hub for all platforms so we're gonna take a quick look at the pda just to show you that so we will do that and then we're gonna jump over to something else i'd like to show you but you can see really nice wide open feel here you could use some really really large equipment and have fun uh farming in a big style so let's get on back down here to our farmhouse and uh, we'll take a look at the pda just kind of travel here in the distance uh as you can kind of see all right so let's take a look at the pda really quick so here is your pda to hickory valley so you can see a new farmer mode we start with plot six here and plot seven which comes with these six fields right here six small fields which are all a part of kind of one big field and then you've got these other plots of land here plot eight for four hundred and sixty two thousand 
And we got plot two right here for 1.9 million. We got plot three there for 673,000. And then in uh, this part, you can see here we got Hickory Valley sell all. And if we can get clicked on it, we got Rent Train, Sugar Beet Piler, Stone Crusher, Steel Factory, Train Sale Point, uh, Hickory Valley Sell All 2, uh, Material Buying Station, Asphalt Production, Sawmill, Train Transfer Silo, Oil Mill, Grain Mill, cereal factory and then if we go up here towards the middle of the top area of the map water tank rent train vehicle shop lime station dairy and right down here in the middle we have a spinnery um, over here to the far left we have biomass heating plant gas station farmers market pizzeria fast food restaurant bakery there's where our horse pasture is we go straight across to the right side of the map restaurant supermarket bale sale animal dealer uh, and another bale sale trigger and then down here in the corner we have crude oil production and then if we focus uh, by our farm here we have rent train, farmhouse, uh, biofuels, our chicken pasture, a large greenhouse, three of those large greenhouses, our cow barn with feeding robots, uh, flat bottom bins, three of those right there. There's our sheep barn large, our beehives, our pigsty. So, a lot here on this map, um, yeah, but there's one thing about this mod that if you haven't installed it, you may not be aware of it unless you've seen other people play it. So, here we go to reveal a secret, if you will, about Hickory Valley. Well, welcome back everybody. Here we are on the second version of Hickory Valley called Hickory Valley Blank Map. So, when you didn't think there was a flat map in FS22, there is one that exists. And there may be others that are similar that I'm not aware of. But I just wanted to share this with you all as there is the ability to have a complete flat map like we had in FS19, but it's called Hickory Valley Blank Map. And we are here again in new farmer mode to show you uh, the blank map called Hickory Valley Blank Map. So here we are. This is new farmer mode. I'm sure in start from scratch you have absolutely nothing here. But I will let you check that out by installing this great mod created by our friend Poor Boy Modding because I feel that I don't want to give it all away. I want you to take the time to install it and rate the mod for our friend Poor Boy Modding. So here you can see here in this... Uh, new farmer mode start here on hickory valley blank map we have a john deere 7810 with a little um planner there we have a shed over here by our one fairly large field here with a bunch of other equipment in it a john deere harvester and headers a tipper wagon uh looks like a uh disc carol excuse me a loading wagon another little john deere tractor with front loader shovel bucket and a mower and then if we go back over here 
kind of where we spawned um, behind where we were uh, facing when we spawned in. We've got two little pallets of uh, seed and um, fertilizer there. We got our loading dock, our rent to train right there, and then another shed which has a workshop so that is pretty pretty nifty and then up here we got some storage up here right here is vehicle workshop and uh, our dealer where we can customize and do whatever we want. There's our train in the distance going around the map. And then if we go into the PDA, here you will see on the PDA, um, it's this uh, Hickory Valley blank map is split into basically the same plots as it was uh, with the other version of Hickory Valley that has it uh, built in more a of a uh, complete map where you have uh, more of a feel where things are living. So again, we have these plots of land. You can purchase 276,000 there, um, uh, 1.2 million there, uh, 86,000 there. And here in the blank map version, you start up here um, with plot 10 with uh, this one field. And then over here, we have um, rent a train and Hickory Valley sell all. Train sale point, Hickory Valley sell all. Uh, material buying station, train transfer silo, stone crusher. And then up here, you can see we have our vehicle shop and rent a train. And then down here is another rent to train. Over here to the right hand side, we have bale sale, bale sale, and animal dealer. So you do have a little bit of a flat map here to do whatever you would want to do on this map. And uh, I am sure you really could uh, do a lot with this uh, version of Hickory Valley. So that is just a quick little um, presentation for you all. Again, both of these I showed you were in new farmer mode. I'm sure there's a lot more I could have showed in this uh, presentation of this kind of first look first look of myself at Hickory Valley with kind of a, a secret I feel to installing the mod as you get a second version of the map called blank map so yeah if you've enjoyed this and uh, whatever else please drop me a tasty one on that like button which is better known by myself as a cop battery and by you all people is delicious don't it don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section and please share a box of donuts with all our friends and family by sharing the videos and the live streams from the channel but for myself rusty money we will see you all on the flip side everybody have a good one PlayStation.